Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news, not too much, just a little bit, but I thought it was some pretty cool stuff that I wanted to show you guys, so let's get to it. The very first thing I have is a brand new kit that is coming out from AK Rex Models, and it is actually a Leptoceratops, which is really cool. You don't see Leptoceratops figures get made much at all, if ever. So. A wonderful looking 120th scale Leptoceratops kit from AK Rex Models is great news if you ask me. As far as a size, it will be 10 centimeters or 4 inches long, so being a Leptoceratops, you're going to expect it to be a pretty small figure, and personally, I think it looks wonderful as all of the AK Rex Models kits always do. Really beautiful appearance to it overall, I love the scaling all over the figure. So as usual, another high quality kit coming out of the AK Rex Models Studio and one that I definitely think anybody interested in should probably get a hold of as soon as possible when it is officially ready. So I will include a link in the description to AK Rex Models on Facebook where you can contact them and inquire further about purchasing this incredible 120th scale Leptoceratops kit when it does officially release. As far as Nanmu goes, we actually have some images of the Ankylosaurus again. We are going to have different versions of the Ankylosaurus. So we have this version here that you can see, which is kind of like a startled defensive position. And I think it looks really nice, beautifully sculpted. As per usual when it comes to a Nanmu figure, it really does look quite beautiful overall. Really excited to see the painted up prototype of this. But on top of this sculpt, we are actually also going to get this version, which is kind of like an injured type of an Ankylosaurus, or one that is about to be violently murdered by the Indominus Rex sort of type of an appearance. And I really think that it's cool that Nanmu is not only offering the alternate color schemes now, but also alternate versions. I really do love that. I don't know if there's going to be different paint schemes with this one, or if it's like the gimmick is kind of two different versions of the same paint scheme. There's no surefire information on that quite yet, but I did want to show you guys these images. They are also going to be releasing a bust as usual when it comes to the Nanmu figures. They usually release a really cool looking bust for each of the species that they do release, and the Ankylosaurus will be no different. As you can see, it will definitely be getting a bust as well. And we actually have a new image of the Apatosaurus and the human character that will be coming with it. And I don't know if I'm just a little bit simple today, but I can't quite figure out who the human character is. I'm thinking it's Dr. Wu, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you guys that are watching this happen to have any idea or maybe a hunch that maybe it's Dr. Wu like I think it is or someone else, Definitely let me know in the comments because I'm having a hard time quite figuring out who it is. But regardless, the Apatosaurus is looking more and more beautiful with every image that I see. And I am just beyond excited about that release for sure. We also have some pictures of the factory samples of the upcoming Papo Chilisaurus. And it really does look quite cool as well. There are quite a bit of inaccuracies with the figure. A lot of things that people are unhappy about when it comes to this upcoming Papo figure, similar to the Giganotosaurus, but not quite that drastic. However, I really do quite like the figure. I think that the paint job has turned out really nicely done overall on this final product. I think it's actually kind of similar to the Velociraptor, the feathered raptor, when it comes to the actual colors used and that green that's up there on the head and everything. Pretty similar to that, but I really think it's translated quite well over to the factory sample. And I'm excited to get this figure for sure. It's actually quite small. You can see it in comparison to this pen. So you definitely know that it's going to be a small figure. But at the same time, that's not too bad because that also means that the price tag will be a little bit smaller. But I did want to show you guys these images here released by Everything Dinosaur of the factory sample of this figure. I also wanted to let you guys know that the Iron Studios 1 10th art scale Dilophosaurus that I had recently promoted to you guys in another news video has actually gone up for pre-order on BigBadToyStore.com which is really exciting because we now have an idea as to what the price of that figure will be and on Big Bad Toy Store I believe it's like $135 for that Dilophosaurus which personally I think is a really good price so I will include a link in the description 
For anyone that was interested in pre-ordering that, as I know there was quite a bit of interest expressed in the comments section for that Dilophosaurus, so if you're like me, you're going to want to get a hold of it, and I did want to let you guys know that that pre-order is currently live on BigBadToyStore.com, so check the description, and you can go ahead, head on over there, and pre-order that Dilophosaurus right now. Then, as far as Mattel goes, we have these images here that I acquired from collect Jurassic of the brand new packaging of the Mosasaurus. The Mosasaurus, who has kind of been extinct in stores in my area for quite a little while, has been re-released with Primal Attack packaging, and I really love the artwork on this, actually. It's very tempting to rebuy the figure just to get that beautiful box, but considering how many figures I have, I really don't have too much room to be collecting boxes as well. I think the only box that I've kept so far would be the Brachiosaurus because it was so incredibly awesome, but this Mosasaurus box is actually really close in comparison to the awesomeness of the Brachiosaurus box, and I'm very tempted to find it. I just haven't actually gone out to look for it yet. And you can also see on the price scanner there that it's coming up in a clearance price. It's coming up for $8.57, so if you happen to have any Mosasaurus in your area, you may be able to get lucky and get it for that cheap price while it is still at that price, because I'd imagine once a lot of their figures kind of clear out when it comes to the Mosasaurus, the Clearance price will probably go back to the average normal price. I don't know if every Target is offering up this deal, but regardless, it's at least worth checking if you happen to have a Target close by. Also, as far as Mattel goes, anybody that's been hunting for the Roravore figures, they are currently as cheap as they're probably ever going to get in store at Walmart as YRN Mac here on YouTube sent me this image showing me that the Roravores are currently $2.50 on clearance at your local Walmart. I actually went to mine today and unfortunately they were sold out. So if you are interested in picking these up, make sure you head to your local Walmart as soon as possible so you can score this incredible deal before they are all in fact gone. Again, thank you to him for sending this image and letting me know about this amazing deal. And the final thing from Mattel that I want to show you guys are yet again more images of the upcoming battle damage figures from Mattel found in the United Kingdom. These ones, however, were found by a pretty famous dino tuber here on YouTube, and it was found by Matthew the Dinosaur King in the United Kingdom. He just recently sent me these images, and I was really, really psyched to see them because this is actually the first time, I believe, that we have spotted the upcoming Battle Damage Triceratops, the smaller version. So far, we've only had a green version of this previously, and we now have this newer version with the yellowish brown and then that darker brown over top as far as that design goes. And I was really quite excited to see this one in store because prior to these images, I had not heard of anybody finding that figure. Once again, we also have the new Battle Damage Velociraptor with that very dark color scheme. So it's super exciting to see all three of these figures in store again in the United Kingdom. So if you are in the United Kingdom, hopefully you'll be able to get lucky and spot some of these in a store near you. And once again, thank you to Matthew the Dinosaur King for sending these images to me and letting me know that the Triceratops is actually out now as well. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.